Well, I'm dead lucky to have such a beautiful audience who send me such beautiful videos to which I can respond. You guys who trawl through such unparalleled tedium just so I can make you chuckle, well, it warms my proverbial cockles. It's a gamble, sure, with prizes such as videos on eating ass or fucking dogs, or even that pedo bloke. But sometimes I hit the jackpot, and today is one of those days. So, special thanks to Maka Lives who found me a doctor of neuroscience. Also, no as that girl from that show I don't really like. I'm gonna be annoying right now. Well, I think everyone knew that as soon as they hit the play button, but go on. Because I want to talk about something that a lot of people don't want to talk about. Oh shit, um, terrorism. No, war. No, rape. Is it rape? I was recently at a bar with two guy friends who are about 40. Oh shit, it is rape. And one of them said to the other, Oh my god, dude, look at that girl sitting at the bar. She's beautiful. How dare he say something non-derogatory about someone who can't even hear him? The fucking cunt at his age, too! And I start looking around, wondering why they would let a child into the bar. Oh, so you're pissed off that he said girl, making you think they let an infant into a drinking establishment, which would be both legally and morally wrong. Not that your mate would basically be lusting after a child. And that is a perfect example of how your priorities are really fucked up. Then I realized that when he said girl, he meant woman. But since she's in that super narrow age range between five years old and 55 years old, we just don't know what to call her. You must be super fun to go to a bar with, I can tell. Seriously, someone who takes everything literally, don't tell me you wouldn't have a right fucking laugh with them. It would be like going out drinking with Drax the Destroyer. So we call her a girl. Sorry folks, I have to do this. We have to stop calling women girls. Is that everyone then, or just men? Is it like with nigger? You're like, that's our word. Why? because it matters what we call people. No, it doesn't. And even if it did, in this case that pissed you off so much, the only person who got offended was you. And you weren't even part of the fucking conversation. One of them said to the other, that's what you said. What the hell is a matter with you? Big bang my fucking head against the wall. Language matters. Words have meaning. And the way we use words changes the way we frame things in our mind. Google Sapper Wharf, if you don't believe me. It's science. It's a hypothesis, and you know what that means, don't you, Dr. Misleading? So when we use words to describe adult women that are typically used to describe children, it changes the way we view women, even unconsciously. If you're gonna be so cocksure about this, then I'm gonna have to ask you to prove that hypothesis, Dr. Bullshit, because nothing makes an adult seem like a child more than making petty-ass complaints. So that we don't equate them with adult men. In fact, it implies that they're inferior to men. That's the implication you take from it, Dr. Overthinks. We have many names for our genders because language is a diverse motherfucker. Now, just because I called language a motherfucker just then doesn't mean I think, even on a subconscious level, that my mum has ever indulged in coitus with a dictionary. I mean, think of the paper cuts for one. Even if that's not what most people intend, Words have an impact on our unconscious. Well, you could give me some anecdotal evidence at the very fucking least. Case in point. Okay, that'll have to do then. You would never say to someone, go ask that boy behind the bank counter if the notary's here today. Couple of problems with that, Dr. Stupid Example. Um, mainly, yes, I totally would. But also, what's stopping you from asking him yourself? That is such a poor effort, really. We never call men boys because it's demeaning and emasculating. We do, and no it isn't. A group of blokes even refer to themselves as boys or lads, meeting the boys down the pub for a lads night out, you know? How many times did you say boys and girls in your own fucking show? And that's mainstream stuff too. So don't fucking give us this shit when you sold out on that principle a long time ago. And are there women who don't mind being seen as diminutive because they think that men should be in charge and that they should be tender and delicate? My fuck, Dr. Mountain out of Molehill, now this is about male dominance. You know, as an actress, you have a fucking abysmal understanding of language. Of course, and there are all kinds of men and women, and I promise, that's okay. But to these women, I would say the following. Um, you don't deserve to be a woman, now hand in your pussy hat? There is a thing that happens when we grow up in the kind of male-centered culture that we live in. We start to believe that the way things are is the way they have to be. 
we start taking on the biases and judgments of women, which have been in place since an historical time when women weren't respected or even allowed into the public sphere. Well, fucking hell, if this is what you're bringing to the table, you're making me wish for those times. Everyone else wants to advance and you're just trying to drag us sideways. The terms we're using for women are outdated and insensitive, and they assume a structure of power where men are on the top and women are on the bottom. Well, in my experience, when some women get on top, they get a bit rough and make my dick hurt. Anyway, how is that the case? I've heard women refer to men as boys too, you know? You ask someone how many kids she's got and she goes two, well, three if you count me husband, and we all have a good laugh and carry on living. So what's going on with that? And in certain eras and in certain parts of this country and the world, this kind of thinking has persisted for far longer than it should have. Because it's not an issue, you femtard! And we know better now. It's up to us to change this narrative. To those of you who call women girls, I say this. I'm just gonna jump in here first because you have made plenty an ass of yourself enough already. Look, carry on doing it, kids. Language is fluid and it does what it wants. Policing it is a sure way for a culture to stagnate. Okay, Dr. Wingelot, carry on. I know your intentions are probably good, but I hope you can learn to see the unintended and negative impact your words can have. And if you're feeling confused about whether or not to call someone a girl, let me help you out. No! No, you fucked up so much already! If a woman is genuinely offended by this, then they are acting like a little girl. Here's how it goes. Decide if the human being in front of you is in fact a girl. Indications that she may in fact be a woman are a high school diploma, a job, a car she pays insurance on, a mortgage, a home she calls her own, or a 401k. If words matter so much to you, then you should know that you just implied any female without any of those things, no matter how old, is not a woman. So you better graduate high school, kids, otherwise you're stuck as a child. Girls tend to be under the age of 18 and typically live with their parents. And fucking moan about how people refer to them. Being a mom is usually a very strong indication that someone is in fact a woman. You've never seen Jerry Springer or the Jeremy Kyle show? Teenage pregnancies and all? I think you're chatting shit. And the thing we need to start doing as women, and for those of you out there who may not be women, but who know and love women, is to consistently, gently, kindly, and politely correct people when they call women girls. Have you ever been driving your car and someone keeps driving up your ass like they're encouraging you to speed up? Well, what's the standard reaction to that? You slow the fuck down just to piss them off, don't you? Adults understand this, which is why most of them don't drive up people's asses. So, as an adult, you should understand that correcting people on something that isn't wrong will result in them saying it more. And if you're a bit of a cunt like me, saying it more to you. I've found a few ways to do this that only make people hate me after I walk away. To my face, they seem pretty receptive to it. It's called giving the baby its bottle, and I would have hoped you'd have grown out of it by now. When someone refers to someone as a girl and I know she's a woman, I'll say so. I'll sometimes say things like, she's got a full-time job and 150 people on payroll. I'm pretty sure she's a woman. Yeah, you have to speak on her behalf because she isn't bothered by such trivial shit. That must be why people respect her. And come on, a woman in management? Bad feminist. That doesn't happen, remember? And I'll smile. Because you get more flies with honey. You actually get more flies with shit. So I'm expecting them to swarm to everything you've been saying. Or if someone says to me, your publicist is such a great girl. I'll say, she's the COO. That makes her a woman. Oh, fuck off. I've read articles on 13-year-old entrepreneurs. That doesn't make them a fucking adult. The only defining factor between a man and a boy and a woman and a girl is age. That's it. Not education, not occupation, not reproduction. And since we were all young once, boy and girl are still applicable, non-insulting words. And who knows, maybe if we start using language that elevates women and doesn't equate them with sweet, small, cuddly, tender things, then stop being so fucking thin-skinned. You're fucking your own argument just by arguing it. And why should we use language to elevate a certain group of people just for being born a certain way? You don't deserve to be elevated any more than boys do. We'll start treating them as more than that as well. Language sets expectations. Let's set ourselves up to have women behave like mature, responsible women. That then, that right then that you just said. Fucking do that, you whiny little princess, and you might get taken seriously. Going on about how people refer to you is not being a mature, responsible woman. In this way, 
we encourage women to keep being the complicated, wonderful, unique, gifted beings that they are. I think we found the problem, Dr. I'm Special. You think women are gifted just for being women. I, I know some fucking shit girls. You don't deserve special treatment and you don't deserve a unique mental checkpoint set up in everyone's heads just to protect your fifis. Women aren't gifted, unique, or special. They are just women, the same as men are just men. Enough with the ridiculous notion that women are these oppressed goddesses just because they're female. Your argument are bordering on the fucking absurd. The fact that this peeve is a point of contention for you should show you just how fucking good we have it in this age. So stop trying to give yourself oppression points because of your cunt. Thanks for watching guys and remember, boys will be boys, but some people are just bitches.